In my experience, you know, in my experience, there's many, many powerful mantras that really, really uh, allow the spirit to shine in many ways. When I first started uh, doing kirtan in the yoga kind of circuit, the yoga scene, people wouldn't chant so much maha mantra. They would chant many other mantras, but somehow maha mantra was a little bit uh, kind of not not so much accepted. And uh, we would come in and Hare Krishna is our favorite mantra to chant. So we would tell people, I mean, slowly we chant some other chant to Sita Ram or, you know, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya slowly. And then gradually as people sing with us and they would come into it, then we would say, then we say, now this is our favorite chant. Please sing with us. And gradually, you know, uh, and Maha Mantra, I mean, you can sing it for one hour is not even enough time to sing the Ma Maha Mantra. And uh, gradually I start seeing that in this circle of uh, Kirtan, uh, people are starting to chant Maha Mantra more and more and more. Sometimes a whole set will just be Maha Mantra. It's so wonderful because this mantra can be vibrated over and over and over again and it only gets sweeter. It only gets more and more enlivening, more and more inspiring in our hearts. Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the great teacher of Kirtan, he says, Anandam Buddhivardhanam, that this, this chanting is an ever increasing ocean of bliss. The ocean, it stays at a certain level, but the, the increasing ocean of bliss, of chanting, it, it rises and it continuously rises. So for me, the Maha Mantra is the first chant that I ever heard, actually. It's the first chant, first words that I heard. My parents, they chanted the Maha Mantra to me. And I pray to the dust of Sri Vrindavan Dham that the Maha Mantra is also the last sound that I ever hear. Uh, that the Maha Mantra is chanted when I'm leaving this body. That would be the perfection of this life. <laughs>